We just saw the trailer for the documentary, uh, Shakespeare Hot. I just wanted to get you to talk a little bit about that and why you got involved that as, as an executive producer. Well, I got involved in it because I, I am one of the uh, alumni of that experience. Um, when I was in uh, high school, uh, we did the annual Shakespeare Festival every year. And in fact, uh, one year I won uh, first place from my monologue from uh, Iago, uh, from Othello. Uh, and it was one of the most extraordinary experiences of uh, learning collaboration, uh, working with all of your fellow classmates, of being able to meet um, uh, fellow students from all sorts of different, I mean there were about 72 high schools in the Drama Teachers Association of Southern California, I think it's even more now. Um, and I wanted very much to try to do a documentary that would capture the value of these kinds of programs, to be able to show what kids who are, you know, literally 16, 17, 18 years old, that they discover the works of Shakespeare. And that's extraordinary to be able to see kids be able to grab onto something like Shakespeare, find that they have a connection to it. And particularly kids, you know, I think you see in, in Shakespeare High a lot of kids from very diverse backgrounds, very difficult lives, um, for whom Shakespeare has become this incredibly important thing. Um, but it's also about what it gives them in terms of their own self-esteem. And we, we got to see you downstairs talking to the performers uh, of the, during the Nancy Hanks lecture. And uh, I was just wondering uh, what kind of advice you give kids who are looking to get into a career in theater and, and film. Well, I, I mean, you know, there's always some specific advice that you can give. I mean, but everyone's journey is going to be their own. And, and, the, and I truly believe that the kids who want to go into the arts, you're not going to be able to stop them. And they just aren't going to do it. They're going to follow whatever that dream is, whether it's going into uh, creative arts in terms of painting or whether it's performing arts. Um, and, and, but what I really enjoy so much is when we work with kids who aren't necessarily going to go into performing arts and what these kinds of programs can illuminate for kids and how you can see a little shy person in the corner who suddenly discover something about themselves they didn't know that they had. Um, that for me is, is, those are some of my favorite workshops to do. I do a lot of work with emerging artists as well, but there's something about being able to see that you can have an impact and that theater can have an impact um, by just using its tools and its artists uh, on young people's lives. So what do you think is the most important part of, of arts education? Why, why is it so important that we fund arts education in schools around the country? Well, I would say the most important part of arts education is to fund it. Um, and I, I think that because it makes a better society. The more that our young people can be exposed to arts, and not just popular culture, but the higher arts, the ones that are more difficult to get across to young people, the more that they have a chance to experience this, I think that we have a chance to create a society that is more balanced, that is more educated, that is more able to communicate. Um, I think that that is one of the things that is sometimes very difficult for kids, is the ability to stand up in a room and be able to communicate. And that's important in terms of if you're going to go into the service industry, if you're going to end up uh, you know, even running for office, you know, if somebody decides that they want to go into politics, the ability to stand up for yourself and realize that you are good enough to represent yourself. Um, I think all of those things are incredibly important um, for our society, uh, let alone for what it does to the performing arts. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You bet. Great, great lecture. Thank, Thank you. So Thank you.